So, what, now we will take a look at what to do if you get stuck with your FX Streamer project. So, there are actually three approaches to this. The first one would be to use the trace block. What is the trace block doing? The trace block, if connected to your condition, will paint a color line on the chart. So, you can use it to verify if the condition runs. And um, basically, it's very useful if you have big, bigger pro projects with multiple conditions. So, you uh, attach multiple trace, uh, trace blocks to it and you will be able to identify where your uh, mistakes lies in the uh, EA structure. Then you should take a look at the common mistakes. So from my interaction with FX Streamer, I know that most of the time people, they um, don't get the values right. So basically in FX Streamer, you have the price level, you have the pips and the value as, as value. So basically pips are always 0 0.0001. Price level is like a Euro USD. Let's put in, put 1.1128 or something like this. And a value as value is simply a number. So you can never just add a number to let's say a pip value. This doesn't work. And then IDs, I know that people, they um, tend to not realize that ID is very important for the work, for your indicator, for your, for your system to work properly. So then there's also incorrect block sequences. Basically ID, if you choose to work with ID one, always stick to ID one and don't start to, uh, to mix ID1 with ID0, ID0 it just is confusing and most likely you will make a mistake somewhere. So then you have the incorrect block sequences. So this happens when people make mistakes in the structure, like if you don't use a, a block or this often works if the structure itself is very, um, very messy. And you basically always have to go like, like the schema I went about, always start with your starter blocks, then your condition blocks, and then your action. This way, if you make it all very simple, you won't make a mistake, but that's also where a lot can happen. If you want to know the third way and best way, feel free to check out my Udemy course, link in description.